having a nice little chat with the two men from the soccer, Mr. Roni Canalello, who's right in front of me here, and on this side with Mr. Ricardo Manetti, who's also the national team head coach. Mr. Roni Canalello is, of course, the national team assistant coach and is also the man in charge of the Unam boys in the Premier League. So guys, thanks. It's nice to be sitting here and sipping on some rock shandy. Yeah. And <laughs> no, it's a pleasure. I've got Relaxing sparkling water here. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it goes later. <laughs> um, it's an it's an absolute pleasure to have you, PT, and welcome to TV Africa Namibia. Oh, thanks a lot. It's absolutely amazing to be here. What a privilege, and it's going to be good fun. And obviously, what a privilege to speak to these two legendary men. Yeah, definitely. And we're looking forward to hear a bit from them as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm very keen on what happened this past weekend. Eh? The, land, the land of the brave was hosting Chipolo Polo, taking on the brave warriors. Head coach, I see you're looking at me with big eyes. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> what, what took part? Big there? eyes, big game. It was <laughs> big, a big game. Yeah, yeah. same Yoma Stadium. Talk to us. Um, uh, one all draw. It was, it was um, you know... If you, if you look at all the things that happened prior to the game, the build-up to it, the players' availability, the absence of the local league, we haven't kicked off yet. Yeah. While the league in Zambia is on, they yeah. have a different calendar. They play from February to December to November. Yeah. Our league is only kicking off in October. So okay. for the past four or five months, there have been no league which means most of the players didn't have any match fitness, so What's, it was quite tough. You talk about the difference in leagues, is it is it a technicality from our end to have our league starting in October? I know Zambia is almost similar to Zimbabwe, theirs run throughout the year from February towards the end of the year. Well, what's, what's with that? Yeah, I think it's it's um, the different associations or okay. the different leagues. Yeah, and also the I think the, the climate. The climate, also, yeah, yeah, it gets very hot here, yeah. 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 Uh, you know, in the past, the Nations Cup also used to happen in, uh, in January. Yeah. Uh, January, February, and um, because uh, um, in West Africa, especially in the middle of the year, June, July is normally a rainy season. Yeah. And um, so, because of those uh, uh, um, the technicalities, you know, the, things change. Yeah, things change. change. Bit, um, where, where did we not get it? Was it the match fitness that made us struggle in that encounter? Did we have a win in sight? Could we have? I think that, that, that struggling question must go to Zambia. <laughs> <laughs> so they actually struggle. They actually struggle. Look, look, Zambia is a powerhouse. Uh, it's a powerhouse. People don't want to. People become emotional and don't want to mention it. Yeah. But you know, whenever you take on uh, a specific opponent, you should know who you're fighting. It's like you're having two cars. The one is a 1.6 competing against a two liter. Yeah, yeah. So you need to you need to understand what you're competing against. Yeah, yeah, sure. And uh, Zambia, like uh, Ronnie yeah. just said, they powerhouse. They've been there before us, longer than us. They have more depth. They have more players than us in Europe. Yeah, they form former Africa they're, Cup they're, Nations they're clubs, Cup Champions. Yeah. clubs uh, participate so, in continental to, uh, uh, competitions. Competitions like the Champions uh, League. Yeah. And uh, so, so, so it's, yeah. it's a quite so. I wouldn't say the only thing that went wrong for us was the goal. We considered yeah, yeah. the goal. Yeah, yeah, I'm not talking about the normal mistakes that happen throughout the game. Yeah. Yeah. But if you want to single out a mistake that didn't give you a win because we were leading, uh, was was the unfortunate uh, deflection uh, that made it one-one. So uh, overall, we we were happy with our approach. We were happy with our substitutions, and and so on because. Uh, our aim was to make sure that uh, Zambia does not get any comfort for in that within that 90 minutes when we block them wherever they wanted to feel comfortable. Feel comfortable. Yeah. Where does it take us in terms of the whole journey? Um, the draw this past weekend, maybe just walk us through on that whole. Yeah, we have four teams in the group. In the group, Guinea-Bissau, Mozambique, us and uh, Zambia. Yeah. yeah. So um, the current, we both, of, all four teams have played uh, two, two, two games. games yes. And the top team is on four. Okay. We on one. Okay. So that's that's a match away. A match or away. A, yeah. a, a win away. A win away, yeah. Which tells you it's very tight. And if you look at the four teams, we are also equally balanced. You know, it's not like there's one there's, okay, Zambia, as we mentioned, they normally a bit of the yeah. bit of a powerhouse, but we have narrowed the gap in recent years. Yes, yes. I mean, when we were playing, Ronnie, we used to get 4-0. Four, four zero. <laughs> <laughs> so you talk out of experience. Yeah, yeah, we, we should be glad know. these guys aren't playing yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just imagine, uh, Zambia came here, the, uh, uh, um, 
the first time, and I think Ricardo, I think that was, was, that was, was, that was, was that was his that was his first. I was 16 was, years old. He was 16 yeah. years old. Still a youngster. I didn't play that match. I was in the uh, uh, in the stands, and uh, we got 4-0. Sure. Yeah. And then the the, the return leg in Zambia, I was in goal. And uh, we got four zero again. Again, so you yeah, didn't make uh, a difference. Yeah, uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Sad, sad, sadly, uh, uh, that team actually two weeks later uh, perished. Uh, the Zambian uh, team. Yeah, yeah, that was a yeah, team. Two weeks that later oh, hey, in, I remember uh, that that sad um, yeah, story air, about that team. Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously, over the years there has been a lot of improvement. Yeah, they, they've been. The the good thing is that you guys can obviously share your experience with the younger players, Look, with the it's, youngsters. It's, it's it's always an advantage yeah. when. You, if, if you go to war, you want to go to war with someone or people who's, that been, is, there. who's been there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You understand? So I think that is our advantage. And both Ronnie and I, we, we, were, we were in that 4-0, you know, hammering. 7-1. Seven, 7-1, one. Seven, one Egypt used to give sure. us. Yeah, seven, they talk one, about, eight. you want guys you around who've been there, done yes. that, even got yes. the t-shirt for it. You know, in yeah. America, they give t-shirts for everything. <laughs> for t-shirt, so we I went to high school. We got the t-shirt. We got it. We got it. We got yeah, it. It's, it's, so, it's, so it's quite, it makes it a little bit easier when you go back into that same war, but this time you're the commander-in-chief. Yeah. This, you're yeah, the yeah, one in charge of, them, yeah, yeah, of, yeah, of the troops. But yeah. you talk about that institutional knowledge. I remember in my sporting days, they, there was a culture, there was a tradition. For instance, if a rookie comes into a team, there's some initi initiation rituals that used to take place. Do you guys still hold true to those little rituals in the side? <laughs> No, no, I, no, we, we, I think... Uh, he doesn't want to share. No, no, but in football, we hardly do that. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, okay. It's, it's maybe the, 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 the awkward, uh, you know, where you like chirp, just chirping. Like okay, in cricket. In cricket. Like, okay. hey, youngster, go pick up the ball, you know, okay. just that. Or, hey, youngster, make sure the... The kit is on the kit is there. The yep. bibs are carried and uh, stuff. Quickly, yeah. help the manager there, you know, it's... it's like the TFC, the thanks for coming. Yeah. yeah. One of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, it's, we don't have an yeah, actual... No, no, we normally, uh, if there are responsibilities, we would uh, uh, actually uh, uh, share the responsibilities uh, among the entire team. Say, okay, yeah. or, um, when we're traveling and you know there's too much stuff to carry for the uh, kit manager, then we'll say, okay, the defenders, you will help from here up to the airport. And uh, you know, when we get off at the next uh, uh, airport, the metrodas will. Oh, we'll see oh that's there. nice. Yeah. yeah, and then obviously the strikers yeah. will get their yeah. turn as well. Yeah, of yeah. course. But the <laughs> uh, strikers are always lazy. They don't, don't do ah. the <laughs> They want to look cool and have their haircuts. <laughs> you know, when, when you pack your bags, they say defenders only have their boots and their shin pads. Yeah. Strikers have makeup, lip gloss, <laughs> hairbrush, and all the nice stuff. <laughs> yeah. You'll be surprised. He used to play with a, with, with, with a guy from Cape Town. You know, yeah. he was a defender. Yeah. And you know, this guy will normally spend some time in the bathroom in front of the mirror doing the hair dry and stuff and you know the hairstyle must be you know you've got to do it for the instagram that look good gents i see you guys are you interact very well head coach assistant coach were you guys friends before you guys coached the national team it's because you played together does that help in terms of understanding each other together we hang together okay he used to he used to so he starts all the fights and you defend him no he he had a car you know, okay. when, you know, during that time, you know, um, uh, um, the 2.1 micro, uh, <laughs> micro <laughs> bus, the white one. You know, and we used to roll with that. Oh. <laughs> I reckon the whole team actually. You know, you know who, what they call those guys who always next to the guy who's got the car? The plus ones. <laughs> <laughs> No, we they, were, were, they were more like plus 10. <laughs> but you like plus you're the microbus, of course. Microbus <laughs> plus 10. <laughs> yeah, plus yeah 10. so we, we're actually coming along with it. Okay. Coming along, you were in goals, way. you played as a. Yeah, and you used to bully me yeah, okay. on the pitch. Of course, look at well, this. I was going to no, ask. no, he was, young, he was younger, he was yeah. 16. You just imagine. You <laughs> so, whenever I used to make a mistake, and uh, the other team almost score, or there's a corner. Then he would run all the way from the his, goals, from the goals yeah. to yeah. me, in front of twenty thousand people, and ever go with me like, sure. don't ever make that mistake. And then it's like huge, and I'm like, bruh, just go away, just yeah. go away, stick to your goals, yeah, go yeah. away, just go back. <laughs> Well, seeing that you guys are doing everything together, do you guys gym together as well? I, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, okay, as you can see, uh, I'm not. I'm Ronnie has got no, some no, big no, no, guns. No, no, no. Caro is not the gem guy, you know. I'm not the gem guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. But you don't mess with him. <laughs>
Okay, because Ronnie is around. I'm more the shuttle I, guy. I, I, talk, I take over. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we try, Pete? Have a you go know, and, and everybody, <laughs> everybody knows that. You, go, you have a go at him, you're actually having a go at me because <laughs> I have to defeat that. <laughs> because sometimes you get big players, eh? <laughs> okay. And if, that, if you give that player uh, an instruction and that player come at you like, yeah, but coach, yeah. I don't and want then, to do yeah, it. Yeah, you know. And, and, and then Ronnie that. just say, What uh, are you saying? What, what no, are you saying? Sir. And you're like, oh, okay. No. <laughs> then you <laughs> just go, <call> Ronnie. <laughs> so, Ronnie, you spend some time in the gym, I presume, yeah? I'm there every day, you know. Okay. Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. Yeah. You've only done soccer. I see there's some rugby muscles showing there. Are you sure you only did soccer? Man, you know, I did rugby once. Okay. You know, because the guy was, guys were giving me some hard time, you know, at, um, at soccer training. And I said, ah, must keep your team. You know, I'll it go was to rugby. school and then I went to rugby. <laughs> you know, but I was quite smaller, you know, okay. um, yeah. during that time. And so I went to play rugby. And, you know, and in our days, you know, we there were older guys at, in school, you know, yeah, yeah. You know guys passed there. And there was this huge guy, you know, we used to call him Chaka. <laughs> Chaka. <laughs> and Chaka took the ball and came towards me. You know the expression of Chaka, and you know, <laughs> coming straight to me, I said, this is not going to happen. I gave Chaka the way, I said, Chaka, please, just take the, tr just take the try, and that's okay. We, you're we all you're a traffic officer, like yeah. the traffic to go I never, I never came back again. <laughs> well, the that's thing is, if you go back today, it's going to be the different, <laughs> oh, the other way around. I have around. to go back now. And it's a, sometimes I feel like I can play for Actually, the UNAM, I think, uh, for the UNAM team. Third team. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> team. Ronnie, you know, if you go back now, you'll easily wear the number eight shoe. Yeah. And uh, I'm pretty sure your bus will be full. Yeah. No, no, but I think I will try <laughs> next year, you know, just... But know. for the third team, please. No, third team, third team. Third team. Third team. If, yeah. he, if yeah. they do allow him there, but... The I UNAM, I UNAM first team, yeah, they're yeah, good. Yeah. No, those guys are brilliant. Yeah, they're good. They, I think they're also taking over from the soccer. You guys played well last season at UNAM, I must say, Ronnie. Well done for that. Yeah, they had an excellent season. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, course, no, we, we, Justin like you couldn't take it at the end there. No, but no, you know, it's, it's a fairly young team. It's a fairly young team. In experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, we actually uh, didn't, uh, nobody gave us a chance. Yeah. But uh, I think uh, it just shows that we worked. So the underdog you know, factor know, worked well for you guys. Yesterday I was going through my list and, you know, my age. My, the, 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 the average, average age. age is about 23, 21. Oh, good. Yeah. So you've got a future set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like yes, and about three, four uh, players that are above 27. Okay, you, also, you always need that experience, That's those right. anchors that hold down the ship. Mm -hmm. But Ronnie, you're doing something this weekend. Um, you've got a big tournament coming up, and I understand everything goes to charity. Tell us a bit more about that. The coach from Mighty Gunners actually called me, you know, he's looking for a, 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 a practice match. You know, okay. it's pre-season, the league hasn't started yet. And, and um, obviously his idea was also to come, to, his idea is to come to Venduk and have to uh, um, practice matches. So I said, oh, okay, no problem, let me look for a third team. Then you can have your, your, three, your two matches. Your two and, matches. Uh, but then I thought, okay, why can I just not make it uh, four teams and then we just make it a charity event and okay. uh, the proceedings will go to the Cancer Association. Okay, uh, you know, can um, maybe, yeah. Yeah, so... That's best. And, and, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll take it from there and make it uh, a, a, a yearly. A yearly fact. That would be the thing, good. you know. And every year we'll obviously look for a, for a charity to, you know, to donate to, to donate to, you know. And so we didn't want to, but as it goes, we'll 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 see how big it goes, and maybe we can um, squeeze in two or three uh, other charities, you know, based on the. Do you have partners on board helping you um, to get this one on the ball rolling? No, no, at this moment, at this moment, no, but uh, we have King Pie that will uh, uh, supply uh, uh, pies to, to, to all four teams. Okay. You know, uh, I'm definitely coming. I can wear my boots. So <laughs> will I get maybe a chicken mayo pie or something? <laughs> no, Ornish? no, you look like a burger pie. <laughs> <laughs> well said. You know, you know, I always tell the guys I belong to a special team, eh? It's yeah. called the Navy Seals of Food. Whoa. And our motto is Whoa. no food left behind. No food left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, uh, because it was also very short notice, you know, King Pai couldn't really do much, uh, but um, we appreciate the oh, good. Yeah, idea, of course, yeah, of course. And, you know, giving each player a pie, uh, you know, after the match. And, and then we'll take it up there because uh, long term we actually want to bring King Pai on board. Okay. You know, uh, um, uh, in the UNAM. Uh, Football club setup and become partners, and 
Yeah, I take it from there. So that's um, and uh, yeah, and then I uh, I had a meeting with Quentin and and and, and, and Pete and um, TV African American. And then we, yeah, that's right. you know we are just you know because uh, we've always been trying to bring uh, TV Africa into. Into the sound of football, you know, and um, so in the discussion, obviously, I, I mentioned that um, um, there is this, uh, this tournament coming. Yeah, up, I would. and they said, okay, good, definitely. Well, let's, obviously, I believe let's, let's the players, but also, you know, the supporters, they must be really excited about, you know, being on TV, being watched and followed. But do you think it will also bring more people to watch the games? No, look, we have the two biggest uh, clubs in the history of Namibian football, your African Stars, uh, your Black Africa. I mean, they have a huge, uh, I mean, a rich uh, foot, footballing history. They, I mean, they were established uh, uh, way back in the 60s and stuff. So, yeah, um, I'm sure their supporters will, uh, on the day, uh, make their way to the stadium and uh, the students in the student environment so yeah I mean, you guys have been to the union stadium uh, covering the rugby and you saw it's always uh, pumped up you know so we hope that we everybody will be there and i really believe also that you know the supporters and the crowd yeah uh, they're gonna be really excited to come yeah they because they're the you know people really love to be interviewed as well yeah. just to have a chat on the side and so on yeah, they, they, they have a big support, you know, I must say. I think it's called the Red Army. Yeah, guys the always Red Army, in yeah. <laughs> They come there and they sing and they're always behind the Union yeah. team. And they, they call them the 12th man. In rugby, they're the 16th yeah. man always behind the team. And they're coming in numbers. In numbers, definitely. Well, they're they nothing noisy, to do with the hostels. <laughs> those Union supporters here. They're very noisy. And surely they're not going to study on Saturday. <laughs> no, definitely. Never, never. They'd they'd rather you know, watch that's, why, that's why I always say I have the easiest job, you know. Okay. Uh, um, uh, in, the, in our Premier League, you know, because the students will only give you hard time to, for that 90 minutes. Ah. When the 90 minutes are done, <laughs> then they realize, hey, I had an assignment, <laughs> you know. I then they go. Yeah, so the I can't result. concentrate on the result. I can't be on social media mocking the coach because I don't have that time. Because by the time they want to mock you, it's probably two, three days later, and then they. They it's it. gone already, <laughs> and the next week weekend is all already um, coming. Ricardo, are you involved in a way there um, at this charity event? No, I'll definitely, I'll definitely be there. Okay, I'll be there whenever there's there's football. I'll I'll be I'll be present, yeah, we having a look at uh, obviously some of the players that uh, that we've been coaching now for the past three four years. They also gonna they play for Black Africa. They play for African Stars. So it will be. Also good to see maybe there's a uh, few uh, new ones that can know. spruce up and yes. maybe add to the national always, team. So I need, I need, I'm always on the. Uh, you, you're also more than welcome to join us in the commentary box. So we're gonna have lots of fun in the commentary box. No there. For Get no some problems. expert analysis oh, from great. the head coach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Tell him you're not picking this one. He's not good enough. <laughs> 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 but in terms of um, the competition in our league. Um, is it strengthening up, or are we always seeing a two-three horse race? Well, what's what's going on there? Uh, I would say it has it has changed a little bit. Okay. You know, uh, if you look at uh, last season, uh, okay, you have your African Stars that took, uh, were the defending champions. Yeah. I think uh, they were the defending champions. Yes, I think so. Yeah. There was no league the previous yeah, season. There was not league the uh, previous uh, season. I think twenty sixteen. Yeah, there was no league. Yeah. Twenty seventeen. Yeah. And uh, but uh, twenty. 15, 2016, uh, um, Excuse me? Yeah. African Stars were the champions. Um, These two rock and, um, and That's right, thank you very much. And Black Africa was second. Okay. Uh, Tura Magic. Tura Magic was third. Uh, no, Tura Magic was in that in that season, yeah. yeah the one before the league stopped. Yeah. Tura Magic yeah, was I think they second. were third. Okay. But they were not second. But I think no, third. third. Yeah, yeah third. Yeah. Yeah. Black Africa, Tura Magic. And um, this time around it was okay, you have your African stars who won the league. But then there was a surprise package, not okay, Black Africa again, but then there were two surprise packages, obviously, uh, Mighty Gunners and, and, and UNAM. Okay. Uh, what has UNAM done differently? What we have done Cheers, differently James. is... Yeah, sure, definitely. On a successful weekend coming? Yeah, definitely. Yes.
I have my the only one. You, you, the, you the only one with a real drink. Because maybe you know that you're not drunk. No, what we have done differently, obviously, that uh, we 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 revamped the team. You know, we we we, we brought in um, younger players. Uh, uh, we brought in younger players, and and we just worked more. Okay. You know, we just a little bit uh, work more, a little bit uh, harder and longer. You know. Okay. As as an outsider, let me jump in there. Yeah. yeah. I think Ron is very modest when it comes to you know whenever we talk about our achievements, mm. you know it's difficult to he talk about. He pretends to be it. humble. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> take the, the pretend uh, uh, way. Humble, ah, yeah. humble, he's humble. Definitely, yeah. Just has a lot of confidence. Yeah. <laughs> it makes people uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, <laughs> yeah, but I think the main thing here is work, 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 work. Yeah. And um, there is there is something that that really lacks in our game. Um, no disrespect to the other coaches, but once them they go full time. See, a guy like Ronnie is full time, so he has the time to work on things that the other coaches don't have time for. So if Ronnie wants to work on, let's say, uh, corner kicks or set pieces or whatever, the, or he's taking shape, he can call in the team. On a Monday morning, while the other teams don't have those luxuries because the coaches are still working, some most of the coaches are part-time, you know, um, and, 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 and that makes it a little bit difficult. So when you have a full-time coach, that gives the player an opportunity to grow, give a group opportunity to grow, and eventually the team becomes stronger. Strong enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, irrespective of your talent. Talent um, is only this much. But if you work, if talent doesn't work, you know, then it stays like that. It, it remains stagnant. Yeah, it remains stagnant. And the guy that is not so talented, if he doubles his work ethic, he will get to that talented guy. And that has always been our one of our philosophies to make sure that sometimes you take an average player, but that player's work ethic is of such nature he works twice as hard as a talented one. And then after a year or two, you'll find that. You don't even know which one to select anymore because, because they're they getting know. neck to neck. Exactly. No, no, just, just imagine: yeah. Have you ever had the national team uh, during pre-season? Never. It's unheard of. It's unheard of. We the <laughs> only the first and only country that yeah. brings in players for pre-season because our clubs are not yeah. are not yeah. active. active yeah. So do you wait for the clubs? No, you don't wait for the clubs. Yeah, because, because something you, has to because be done. Because on Saturday they so will just in, So just mm. imagine. Yes. So just imagine. Uh, 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 we played on Saturday, the uh, 8th of September. Yeah. There's no league. Only a few clubs started started training. So if we had to wait for the beginning of September, that was never going to happen. Just imagine it was going to be a disaster. It was going to be a disaster. You yeah. know, because now you're playing against the Zambia. Whose players are playing all over the world, and they're fit, and they're fit, they're active, and the, lo and the local players are playing, just the, playing in the Champions the, League. Local, local, local teams are involved in Champions, Champions. So they're Champions playing against League. Kaiser Chiefs, and the league, playing is, and, the league and, and the league is on. Espinosa, and, 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 exactly. and, so, and those guys. Yeah, so we don't, we, we don't, we don't wait for that. You know, we decided I'm not gonna wait for for that to happen. And, you're gonna do pre-season. Pre yeah. He That's mentioned right. something about you being full time. Is it a benefit you have because of the nature of Unam FC, or it's something all the clubs can do, or maybe it's unique because your Unam FC belongs to the university, if I'm correct, in that in that light, and your facilities there are veiled, and it makes it a bit easy in terms of this man. This man is gonna be modest. Let me answer that question for you. Yeah, yeah. The club owners, the chairmen of all the clubs, should should offer their coaches a full-time salary. It's as simple as that. The club owners, the chairmen keep on telling the, 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 the coaches or the, the board or the executive that we can't afford a full-time coach and that's not true. If you, if you figure yourself out financially, it's very possible. It is so possible to get a full-time coach. Yes, you might not have the pension fund, uh, that uh, normal, a normal job would give you, but all the other benefits as is, is, is possible. So if you uh, cut at certain places um, 
you can take that money and get a full-time coach yes. because it will only benefit your players and if it benefits your players it benefits your club okay. because the coach is and if the, it is benefits the, the club yes. it benefits the national team and it benefits the, the national team. team i think it's that That's chain right. which we need to begin to understand yes. especially from a, yes. from a holistic <coughs> league setup exactly. that right now one of our, our ex colleagues or ex teammates robert now said just came from south africa played for kaiser chiefs played for the national team legend yeah. He has, he's just taken over uh, the reins at African Stars. So he's going to be full time. So um, it, 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 we, we, we are so much worried about, in Namibia, about when you talk football, we're so much worried about talent. That we forget that we need to work. Yeah, no they, they need to born, be structures. No one is born with a ball. No. I didn't see when I was born there was a ball in the hospital given to me. No one is, it's, it's hard work. You it's hard work. No, it's yeah. a simple, I mean, I mean, it's simple I mean, like I mean, that. You, you guys cover a lot of other uh, sports coaches. Yeah, you know, that's right. Take for instance the rugby. Mm -hmm. You know, our rugby play, our rugby team compete, and they compete against uh, uh, um, South African rugby clubs. But the competition is not really leveled. No, no it's yeah. not. Because our not. players, uh, they work that's and right. play rugby. While our players are at work, the, 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 the gym, the other players doing are, fitness. are doing fitness yeah, or are right. on the training field. Mm. So the, it, it, it's the same in football. Mm. You know, sometimes our players are waiting for the coaches because the coaches are at work. That's right. Now the player wants to train and the coach is at work. Okay. Now the player, what what is it that the player needs to do? Okay, he stands up, he goes to the gym or he goes running. But at the end of the day, you still need supervision supervision oh, right. direction uh, direction you know yeah. to so yeah, to better your so game be correct so to assume that's right. that you guys are both full time in football yeah we're full time so monday to friday you work soccer that's all you do especially you the national team it needs to be in that way i i work i work less than him <laughs> 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 I work smart. <laughs> yeah, you, he works too hard. He works too hard. So I'm not thinking, but I'm working too hard. <laughs> you need to work a bit more <laughs> smart. Go down a bit. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, because yeah. he's attached to both. He's, oh, he's he has his club. Yeah. His club is 24 7. Okay. I don't have a club. Like yeah. now, I'm not. I'm not. It, it, I'm so not what do you get training. busy with? Do you move around the clubs, maybe assisting in terms of this is what the national team game plan we want to play? No, 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 not no. Really. You, you, you leave, you leave the clubs because each each club has its own philosophy. Okay. Each club and its coach yeah. has its own direction. Different okay. players, different approach, different formations, structures. Everything. So we have a structure. So we would look at a club and say, okay, Cervix, um Within our structure, is there someone there that would fit here? You say yes, boom, we, we take him and then and, and make sure that he fits in there. Okay. So that's that's basically my job. My job okay. is to, uh, I'm just on the outlook. On the outlook, so you yeah. don't oversee any national I'm, academy. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the eagle, I'm just there, you know, I'm overseeing. big brother, I'm overseeing, checking who's the next best, uh, okay. next, next best thing. I'm also involved very much when it comes to the under 17, under 20s. Okay. okay. So when there's uh, national competitions, um, part of the, the selection uh, team, um, when the under 17s are called into camp, I work with the players so that we make sure that there's continuity. And I think that is that is key when it comes to the national team. We we always make sure when whenever we have a camp, yeah, like now or two three years ago in future the next camp there will always be four to five youngsters that we would bring in to just train with the big boys they get, they like get a, now for yeah. this five six weeks we had we had four boys yeah, four boys, four from, boys from, from, 20, from the under 20 under um, and they they came in trained they not they not i'm not going to select them not yet no 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 but you, you want them to get a custom but i to want them to get a custom to the environment and also to the players so should there be one or two that pop up earlier than we expected yeah and one of them played against uh, lesotho yeah and what the, one of them played against Lestito when he played uh, was it earlier this year, year. Earlier this in year. March, yeah. Okay. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. So yeah, that's that's the idea. You want to get everybody in, but to yeah, I'm getting ready for a steak, guys. So I probably want us to <laughs> <laughs> to wrap up, but just to end, yeah. <laughs> to end our chat, yeah, Pete. I, I just got a last question. Um, in terms of schools and uh, the route from under, how is the structure in terms of getting talent from under? 
is there a nice structure in place like you know looking out for some talent school players youngsters coming up yeah all the, all the time we uh, like like i just said we have uh, the the competition uh, age group is under 17 okay. that's where we start and we actually as the nfa we wanna bring it a little bit down to under 15 Okay. Where, we, where we catch them a little bit earlier. Uh, but because in CAF in Africa, it only starts with under 17. So then we have the Scorpion Zinc under 17 tournament. We just had it now in Grootfontein okay. a couple of weeks ago, uh, where the best 15 year olds come together, the 14 regions. And that's where you select your next team. But I think it's, it's important you mentioned they're bringing that age group level down. I think it's something we need to get to because if a player is already under 17, they've already gotten themselves accustomed to some bad habits which would be very hard to, to, to get out of, yeah. out of their system. And that, and that is why we decided to say, now nah, let's, let's, let's bring, bring them down, down to 15. Yeah, catch them earlier, yeah, cut out off. the bad habits, and then and, and, and sort of start chopping and polishing and cutting Definitely. the ones that we Maybe think give, will make it. Yeah. Give Botswana a ring, let's have a friendly with our under 15s. Yeah. If you can drive down to Zambia is close by, you've got Angola close by, have some friendlies with yeah. those boys as if they're young and mold them into that. Um, back to this Saturday, Ronnie. Yeah. So you've got four teams, UNAM is one, African Stars is Black one, Africa. Black Africa Mighty is Mighty Gunners from Ochiwarongo. Mighty Gunners from Ochiwarongo. Yeah. Which are the first two games? UNAM plays African Stars. Yeah, at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock yeah. kickoff at the UNAM Rugby UNAM Stadium. I'm yes. calling it the Rugby Stadium. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to be there for Rugby UNAM Soccer Stadium. Yeah. Nine o'clock at the main campus, and then after that we have uh, uh, 11, 11 o'clock uh, Black Africa so with Mighty Gunners. Mighty Gunners. So those are we can call them semi-finals per se. Yeah, yeah. Whoever wins meets each yeah. other in the and, final. And uh, fourteen thirty, uh, uh, the losers will play against each other. Okay. Losers one and losers two, and uh, then the final at uh, 17 30. 17, 17, 16 30. 16 30. 16 30. 16 30. 16 30. 16 30. Okay. 30. So it's still going to be a bit, it's still going to be in the afternoon. It's going down quite late. So it's those four fixtures 9 o'clock, 11 30. Is it correct? Uh, 11, uh, 9, 11. 11. 1430 and 1630. So you've got good matches happening at UNAM. And what's the damage for me to enter? What am I paying? Yeah, it's uh, $20 per person. That's a small fee. Yeah, that's, that's a small that's, fee. That's, that's, that's small fee. And yeah. uh, uh, um, obviously, uh, uh, the, the, the process will go to the cancer association. And if I'm a student with my student card, is it still 20 bucks? Uh, it's for games. Normally, they pay 20 bucks uh, for one game. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think twenty bucks is fair. If I cut out a pie from my budget, I can, <laughs> <laughs> I can obviously make it. And of course, it's going to be good action to watch. <laughs> good so action. I think for one less keen. pie, it's valuable. Yeah, value. absolutely. Yeah. Um, coach, um, what's what's the next match we play as the Brave Warriors? Who are we? We 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 just confirmed a friendly match against Botswana. Okay. That the Independence uh, celebrations on the thirtieth of September. In Botswana. In Botswana. Khabarone. Khabarone. Caps. Caps, they yeah. call it. <laughs> Caps. So it's, it's, it's a nice place. It's a nice place. Yeah. And uh, um, so that will basically just be the local base players. Okay. So it's not really preparation for the Mozambique game. It's just to get the local players some game time. Okay. Because the, the team will change its complexion after that game. Of course. Because we have about 12 to 14 players abroad. Okay. That we will still bring Wait, in. Where is our concentration of players? South over? Africa. South Africa. Yeah, okay. that's that's where most of our players are. Okay. So um, then we will. So um, from there, we play in South Africa and then move over to Mozambique. Mozambique. Yeah, and then three days after playing Mozambique, we'll be back here playing at home against Mozambique again. Again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, in, do you guys support any teams in the English Premier League, Ronnie? Leicester City. Leicester. Yeah. No uh, pressure, you know. No. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> you, 
they, we win, nobody worries. Nobody worries. We lose, nobody, nobody worries. worries. You don't like pressure when you're watching TV. No, no, no. I don't, I, I don't like unnecessary talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, so that's why you don't support Man U, uh, no, for no, example. No, no, no. No. I also don't, don't like you. unnecessary talk, so I support Real Madrid. Oh, wow. So so Real I think Madrid. that's very necessary so talk. If you, so if you talk about uh, who won the most Champions Leagues, uh, just bring the stats and we yes. end it right there. Yeah. Finish and clap. Finish and clap. <laughs> no. we'll talk further on with Let's cut the, 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 the rest. So when are we doing our trip to Santiago Bernabal? Yeah, hey, my man. That's on my bucket list. <laughs> I think I've got, a, I've got an easy after, plan. After AFCON. I've got an AFCON. easy plan. Yeah. Let's organize a friendly with Spain. Then. <laughs> get Ronnie in goals. You might get 80. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice if we, one, nice if we put Ronnie, Ronnie in the goal, yeah. the strikers will be afraid. They're not going to They're not going to come, come in. Come yeah. We're no long six starts, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Open foot straight into the... Uh, but, gents, I think it's been good. Um, yeah. We know what's happening in the weekend. Coach has his team ready. He's going to go to Gabs. Then he's going to go to... Where in Mozambique you're playing again? Maputo. Maputo. The capital Maputo. city, Maputo. Yeah. Ah, okay. Maputo. Been to Beira once. It's a nice place. Yeah. The fish there is good. Yeah. Definitely. Lobster. So, lobster. So, <laughs> apparently, Some. I'm all about food. <laughs> what what can I say? Pie, burger pies. <laughs> you've, you've got to put something in these yeah, chicks, eh? They yeah. just don't come. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, this weekend, 9 o'clock, it's at UNAM. So, you want to be there. Four teams playing UNAM, Africa Magic, Black Stars. And mighty no. Tura Magic. That's right. And uh, hopefully Tura Magic, Black Africa, Black Africa, African Stars, African yeah. Stars, and UNAM. No, and UNAM. no right. Mighty Gunners. Mighty Gunners. Oh, Mighty Gunners. Mighty Gunners. Gunners. Coach playing with our minds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, it sounds like six teams. Are we sure it's just four teams? Yeah. No, no. Oh, mighty Gunners. Four, yeah. yeah, Mighty Gunners. Yeah, I must say, yeah. when I grow up, I want to be definitely part of a national team setup. So I envy you guys a lot. Yeah. Maybe as team manager. <laughs> when, or when you wanna grow up. Can you can you ever well, look at this? <laughs> As your hair is black. <laughs> Please, you wanna keep your hair black? <laughs> stay away. Stay, stay away. away. <laughs> stay away. Stay away. So it's been good, yeah, Pete. That's been brilliant, um, and uh, hopefully we're gonna have the whole of Vintuk and some other people all over the country no, no, coming of course, of course. on I mean, Saturday. It's, uh, yeah. it's the first time it, something like this happened. Yeah, and, and let's uh, hope it's gonna be and, packed and on and Saturday. Sure are football hungry. Yeah. That's right, and, uh, and, and it's uh, for a great cause. And the one that, um, of course, and the, the one that can't make it to the stadium, they still have a chance to watch it on. Yeah. That's right, of course, it's on, YouTube. on YouTube. We're broadcasting right. live on TV so Africa, That's TV right. Africa, Namibia. So we're coming to you all the way in HD. So you wanna catch those matches, and not forget that this is all for charity. So all the proceeds go to the Cancer Association of Namibia in short can. And it's an absolutely, absolutely brilliant initiative by you two gentlemen to be a part of. So I'm probably catching Ricardo in the commentary box. Ronnie will be sweating with Unam there on the field. <laughs> you won't have but time. But you'll get a word in time. Time. No, no, you can get me, get me in your post-match uh, post interview. Or, uh, <laughs> well, Ronnie, I'll just catch interview. you on the sideline somewhere. Let's hope, with let's hope oh, Ronnie's team no, no, wins. No, no. Yeah, this man is very aggressive. Please don't and, catch and, him on the any, sidelines. Any, 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 Anytime. Anytime. I won't get Anytime. near that. Stay away. <laughs> <laughs> it's daytime TV. You don't want to be close to Ronnie on the sideline. All right, thanks, Jen. It's been a pleasure. Mm, I think wonderful. my steak is eating up there. So. Yeah, no, because I, I could see that you don't even see us. You only see steak. I've got a knife close to me, Ronnie. You, you want to stay safe. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Well, um, just the last wonderful. word from my side to yeah. those who can't be there. Just uh, search on the uh, YouTube TV Africa. Yeah. It's spelled T double -E, e V double -E, e Africa. Yeah. And of course you can watch the games live on YouTube. Live from the comfort of your home? That's right. Yeah. Alright. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Thanks for your time. Much Thanks. appreciated. Sure.